We're just gonna start. This is where I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this stream and I'm gonna turn this section into a video. We're already starting. This is gonna be on YouTube. Here we go. So let's talk about two things real quick. First thing I want to talk about is signal chain in the filters because people don't realize that the order that you put your filters in actually matter. So let me let me talk about let me let me explain what I'm talking about here. So for example, if we take um, let's take a camera and let's just throw it over the top here. Okay, we got our camera full screen right now. So if we go into filters and if we add, let's find a mask. We got some masks in here. Okay. Grab this mask and then we add a blur on top of that mask. Here we go. Here we got our image. Take a look at this. Look how blurry the edges are. The reason the edges are blurry is because we did the mask first. So we, we cut out our shape of the camera and then we blurred it. Now watch what happens if we do it in a slightly different order. Let's take off this mask and let's re-add it in underneath the blur. So now we've got the big blurry, the big blurry camera, right? I just took off the mask. We're gonna add the mask back on after the blur. Now look at that. Still blurry camera. The edges are nice, crisp, and clean. Because what happens is the signal, meaning our camera right now, the signal goes from the top to bottom. The video goes in, it gets blurred. Now it is just a blurry image. Then it goes into a crop and it like takes its scissors and it cuts that blurry image. So the edges are going to be sharp. If you do it in the opposite direction, what's going to happen is you're going to, you're going to take the scissors, you're going to cut out the mask and then you're going to blur the whole thing, which is why the edges look blurry. So that's signal flow. Let me take these, take these off so we don't ruin our camera. Okay, the reason I'm talking about that is people are asking about compression and noise gates in audio. And if you don't know what those are, basically a noise gate is where, you know, if you see your levels, you're trying to get rid of the stupid little noise that happens when you're not, not talking, like whether it's fuzz or whether it's keyboard clicking. And a noise gate says, if it's not louder, you know, here's the loudest point, here's the, here's the softest point. You set a point in the middle and you say, anytime it's quieter than that point, shut off all the audio. So it's like an on and off thing. Once you talk and it gets louder than that point, it opens it. It opens the gate back up and it's the audio comes through again. Anything below that, it completely shuts off. And you have compression that says you're going to take a point to the loudest point and you're going to squeeze that down by a ratio. So let's say you're talking above this point uh, and let's say something is like 12 decibels above that point and you have your ratio set from four to one that 12 decibels is going to be squeezed down to only being three decibels. So now the quietest point and the loudest point are only three decibels apart rather than 12. So if you're whispering, they can hear you. If you're shouting, it doesn't blow their eardrums out. That's what compression does. And people were asking, well, why does it matter what order you put it in? Well, if you're compressing it first, there's a lot smaller of an area. The quieter parts are louder. The dynamic range is so small that it's, you're gonna have a hard time fine tuning exactly where to make that noise gate. Whereas if you cut it while the dynamic range is this, this large, you've got the quietest parts all the way down here, the largest parts down here, you can fine tune that cut and then you squeeze it together. It's still gonna be super quiet on the bottom and super loud on the top and the noise gate's gonna be perfect. And that is my lesson on signal flow and audio. You're welcome. Okay, I'm done. You still here? Oh, he's muted me. <laughs>